Hello everyone, today we're going to be measuring pH using pH paper. Um, as you can see, this is a um, manual and biased uh, type of analysis, which means that it all, it all depends on the user's interpretation of color, uh, which is not as accurate as the pH meter that we did in the other video. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to be doing um, analysis of all the same calibrators and QC and patient specimens uh, as we did in the other video. So this is very stuck together, okay? So um, make sure you have clean gloves and that they're dry. And when you take these apart, you're going to end up dipping one side and then um, putting it against this uh, measurement scale and decide uh, what pH it actually is. So it starts out as very acidic and goes all the way to 12. Okay, so I pulled off several and I labeled a paper towel to show what one we're doing at what time. I need to pull off a few more, so I'll get back to you. Okay, so we're back and we're going to use the pH paper in the calibrators first. So I put, I'm right-handed, so I put the side that came off the sticky glue part um, of the, uh, you know, the bunch that we just took it off of. I don't want to, See, there's a glue tape there. I don't want that to interfere with my measurements, so I'm going to hold that side and dip the other. Okay, so the first one we're going to do is the pH 4. That's the pink one. So you're going to hold the side with the glue. Okay, you're going to dip and pull any excess off. And you have to read it while it's still wet. Okay, so we're looking here and hey it looks lovely it does match that ph4 so that works out nicely so far very accurate women naturally do have um, the ability to see uh, more colors than men do so if you didn't if you couldn't tell the difference between those um, then that is where that biasness does come in. Okay, so we just did the seven. So does it match the seven? Oh, why, yes it does. Look at that. This is turning out really great here. Okay, whoops, glad I missed that little strip. Okay, we're doing 10 now, the blue one. All right. Let's see here. If you ever get your gloves wet, you should make sure to um, change them and get new ones before you move on. Okay, so that looks kind of nine-ish. Yeah, that to me looks like a nine. And if you remember while we did, when we did read it using, yeah, that looks nine when we did read it uh, using the meter, it was in the nine. Okay, it was in between the nine and the 10. Okay. Let's do high QC. Dip that. If you'll notice, I am getting rid of excess. So I dip and get rid of excess on the side lip. Okay. This looks like an eight. Okay. Looks good. Next one, QC of blue. I am never dipping all the way up to my fingers. Okay, that's a big deal. All right, let's see, a low. It looks like it's a five to me. Can hardly tell the difference between the paper. 
and the strip, and that means it's accurate. That's good. Okay, now we're going to do the specimen. Okay, so looking at the specimen, it looks like a Hmm. Looks like a three. That's not picking up very well. There we go on the camera. Looks like a three. Yep. All right. So the thing that you will be doing in the lab that I'm making this video for is you're going to be discussing whether your pH meter match the pH paper and which one is more accurate and why. We can take a look here all those beautiful colors and uh, they did match pretty well from what I remember and uh, remember to do them when they're wet because otherwise when they start to dry it still may change. Thank you so much for watching and uh, have a great day. I'll see you next time.